Hey guys, I'm John Ayrton Occasion, and uh, I mean Merry Christmas again. I know, I already did that a few days ago, um, but I'm recording this on Christmas Day. It's Christmas morning, and, uh, and, and nothing stirred in the house, not even a mouse, um, and other such uh, Christmas tales. Um, no, I, uh, I, I find I cannot settle when I know I have to be somewhere. It's, it's the sort of problem with working from home. Um, and on my own schedule, whenever I actually have plans to do anything, uh, my brain is just like, you've got to be somewhere in six hours. It's like, yeah, six hours, settle down. No, 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 you need to be awake. It's like, okay, thanks, brain. So I thought I'd do some recording. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's a big day, though, isn't it? Not Christmas, although Christmas is arguably quite big. But it's a big day for us uh, here in this episode, you know, several days after Christmas, with Honor the Ancients. I'm very happy to be doing this finally. Um, but yeah, I really thought that this mission would show up before the main story mission. It's very annoying that uh, we've had that delay, but we should be probably over-prepared. We're only going to be taking three people, because we're getting an extra four requisition out of it. But of course, Lunette is a freebie, which means we're going to have a big... I just right-clicked by accident. Kind of ruined my flow. Kind of ruined my flow there. Silly hand, twitching. Sometimes my hands shake a bit. Um, but anyway, so, Aegir Han, Voldred Storm, Lunette, Osmorantis. You know, I don't think I ever knew her surname. Has it ever been mentioned before? I'm not sure. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. But it does have, uh, you can sort of spell Mars out of her name, which might be the point. I don't know. Um, looks like she's got, what, like a plasma gun? What does she have? The Eradication Ray. See, I know nothing about Mechanicus weaponry, so I've never seen anything like this before, but... Shoots people for three damage and sets them on fire, which is pretty funny. She's got the Omniscient Axe. These are kind of trash, though. But she does have the Litany of the Electromancer. Awesome. Um, choose a target, deal five stun. I mean, that is insane. Love that. I mean, she's just going to tase people. Litany of the Electromancer. That's just a taser, is what that is. Um, Chant of the Remorseless Fist. Uh, blast causes vulnerable, disables range damage, and master of machines. Target mechanical unit. Um, heals eight, purifies, so she's going to be healing up. And look, only AP, doesn't cost any willpower. And yet our other guy, um, you know, Hale, he had to spend willpower to, to repair. So, yeah, what is the point? What is the point of having someone like him when you can just have Lunette? come and help us. She probably won't come on the next missions with a Dreadnought, but oh well. It's all good. So we've got uh, Strength of Spirit, Engage Infinity. We did wait until we were allowed the extra um, abilities there, the extra stratagems. So I think we're all set. I'm pretty sure our equipment is as good as it can be, um, or at least as good as we can outfit them with. So I think we have nothing left but to start the mission. Wish me luck. I am detecting odd energy signatures in the area immediately around the target. Readings indicate the presence of Technophage along with the Necrosis strain. This mysterious Technophage. I'll need to collect samples. Let us not forget why we are here, Commander. We must recover Venerable Brother Krask. Interesting. So I do wonder if, um... If they're using his, uh, uh, you know, the sarcophagus that is, you know, <laughs> that holds the, uh, the the space marine within the dreadnought, I wonder if that is being used to like incubate the technophage or something, because it's it's already a, a, a sort of a slight splicing of man and machine, you know. Yes, Commander. Your query. Uh, but also some soul juice, you know, freshly squeezed soul juice. Uh, so where are we going? Are we going to go this way? Well, I have no idea where to go on this map. Because I mean, I don't know the map. I mean, we could go around on the outside here. Where the hell is it? There it is. I mean, it's a long way to go, isn't it? No matter which way we go. All right, let's go this way. The logical choice. Look at this scuttling about. I love it. It will be done. All right. At your command. All right, guys, stack up. Done. My blade is and yours. yeah, you can go. Taking position. 
Alright, here you go, Lynette. <laughs> she just sort of tickled the door and it exploded. It's amazing. I love it. Alright, keep going. Brilliant. Oh, okay, there's something through that door, supposedly. And you'll see us if we try and skirt past, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, that used two AP. As you will. That's annoying. All right, you can move in too. In you go. Okay, bloom rising. All right. Um, do I want to poke them? I mean, this thing might give me cover for me just to go past, honestly. But then they might end up patrolling this way, um, and sort of attacking us from behind. So, I don't know, we should probably, probably wake them up. Although it is a Technophage mission. I assume, I assume all the usual Technophage rules apply. But, assuming makes an ass out of <laughs> you and me. So, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, yes. Alright, Dominus, in you get. That's right, she's leading every time, I've decided. Tickle, tickle. Okay, that's new. Someone's given that thing a glow up. Interesting. Enemies have entered sight range. Ah, and that's two terminators. Of course it is. Of course it is. Your command. Did I My bring any extractor ready. skulls? No, I did not. Yes, Commander. No, I did not. It's a shame because uh, oh, although it is green, so do I care? <laughs> you know, do I actually care about that? Probably not. Your orders. Um. My orders are to run forward so you can actually hit something. These guys, though, I'm not sure. I mean, I could hit them both with a disruptor skill. We do five charges, which isn't terrible. And then maybe we could get stuck in and start wailing on them. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, this thing we can kill in one hit. So I will. At your service. This guy could probably get in with a teleport strike, maybe. Yeah, get some additional damage in there and then start wailing on them. I mean, it is Storm, so he's in good he's in good hands. Um, also, if we can start shooting these guys with Storm nearby, that would be bonus damage too. So... Do I just want to move my maximum amount now? With one AP, I mean. Get okay, as close as we can. Alright, we're going to get as close as we can. Then we can disrupt these guys, maybe? Or do I want to move up with Thul first? I'm going to move up with Thul. Right. I'm going to astrolabe this chump. And we're not quite going to be able to kill him. I can get him with the Disruptor uh, Skull, though. It's annoying to have to do that, but it's literally just the range is a bit too much. Do I want to waste a Disruptor Skull when I could just move closer to him? I'd have to move a lot closer to him. And that's a problem. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Oh, that's one health, not two. Okay. Uh, I hate to use a second AP for this, we strive. but I think that works out best for me anyway. And we might get a AP back from this, which will help us trigger support fire for one of our boys. Because uh, we can shoot this guy for a substantial amount of damage, and we can hit him too by doing a psychic onslaught. And he did get the AP, so, you know, we kind of laugh. Standing ready. Um, standing ready. So I can do that. And if I'm standing next to him like that, I don't need to worry about um, first strike. So I could, yeah, I could try and warp charge. That's gonna be quite expensive, though. I think we'll just do the standard attack for now. <laughs> and we did get some AP back. Marvelous. Um, yeah, I could hammer hand to get the seeds out of him. Be quick, Commander. So Dominus. Uh, a blast that disables ranged weapons does sound great for these guys, I've got to say. But, then they're going to use their axes. And I'm not sure I want that to happen either. But, if I do hammer hand this guy, I can take his arm off. Um, and so they don't have a ranged weapon anymore. That would be pretty good. Now, what are your odds at getting a crit? 10%. That's not very good. How about you, as standard? 40%. Praise the you can't get a proper crit mm -hmm. on them. Your odds are 0% chance to get a crit. So I guess I won't do that then. 
but I could try and stun them. I have eight, so I need to hit him three Storm. times. Um, I'll accidentally kill him. I'll kill him before I get the crit, which is a shame. Standing It'd be nice to get ready. more um, AP. Okay, I'm not going to use any more willpower on him, I don't think. I think we're just going to shoot him. And we can start whittling him down that way. Uh, only 55% chance to get a crit. It'd be pretty nice if we did. We got a crit. Okay, he's out of 10 health. Nice. Alright, I think Han can probably just uh, just kill him. With the old melee. Though I would quite like to be able to kill these guys a little more efficiently. I would like to get another shot in, you see. Right, how much damage can you do? You can do 5 damage, that'll be the additional 5, and then we can stab him once. Okay, good. Justice. No query. So, this does armor pierce as well, and burn. We should have probably thought about that. We could have probably just spammed a bunch of armor piercing on one of these guys before I hit them with the other abilities, because that would have actually helped deal a lot of damage. Um, although we wouldn't have got the kill, would it? No. Yeah, it probably would have been pointless. And that does three damage as well. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to move Initiative out here so we can actually get a good shot. And then I'll just shoot him, and that'll help. You know, it's it's some damage. Better than nothing. Oh, that's pretty satisfying. Oh, that's fun. Alright, now Han. Let's get you stuck in as well. Although, are we going to have to use a Disruptor Skull or anything? I mean, he's already been in combat, right? So he's not going to first strike? I'm not seeing anything to suggest that he would. He's just been purged. Cool. And now, I think I can just wail on him. We have 3 AP. So yeah, we can't not kill him. We're good. That's a pretty impressive... Um... Pod. Oh, nice. We got the crit at the end. Um, yeah, that was a pretty impressive pod. To have to deal with two Terminators and a Blind Mauler. You know, it's pretty Blight Hauler. Blight Mauler. Blight Hauler. Blight Hauler. It's hauling the Blight. Um, oh, I don't think that's actually terrain we can pass. I think we kind of had to go through here. Okay. Alright, let's stack up over here then. Alright. Make sure we've got one AP left as you move. In case we need to correct. I also love how this has all the um, sort of uh, Mechanicus uh, to the me Mechanium or something. I can't remember. Um, it's it's got a bunch of the terrain things from the industrial stuff. Because yeah, most of the terrain that you see in Warhammer games nowadays is stuff that you can actually buy that are used to sort of you know decorate uh, more sort of generic areas. Taking position. Which I'm sure is entirely intentional. Just be like, oh wow, we can buy the thing like from what they have at the Demon Hunters. <laughs> but yeah. It's nice to see them like fleshed out though. It's cool. Alright, you got the Aegis. Fancy. Unleash me! You're plenty unleashed. Okay, when do I ever leash you? Come on. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I like the tickle explosion. Just, I think you guys can tell. I really like the tickle explosion. I think it's hilarious. Sure will. Okay, and what's over here? We can't see anything yet, but of course there's the dreadnought next to a train. Some sort of land train. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's move over here. Uh, yeah, storm. I mean, he can teleport over, so I could put him straight, like face plant the wall there. But... It will be done. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to teleport. So we'll allow him the option to use the door. The I know, it's very kind of us. Yeah, weird we're not seeing anything. I don't know if we open up this area and it'll, it'll go... Alright, story mode kicking in. Who knows. But yeah, go on. Tickle entry. Actually, I guess it would work, tickling them, because, you know, they've got faces and things. The, the door exploding is probably this thing's version of laughing. So, don't worry about it. It all makes perfect canonical sense. Okay. Warp Surge. 
don't need reinforcements. Ah, uh, well, that's worse. <laughs> Potentially. Potentially worse. I can't actually tell because I don't know how this mission is going to end. But if the mission ends with, you know, As you will. them just sort of like spewing up all the... Wow, we really? Heard you coming. Amazed that we didn't have a view of that. Oh, although I guess it's tied to the objective area. To engage, okay, Commander. fair enough. I am detecting weak biosignatures from the venerable Dreadnought. You must rouse him from his stasis. Update. Give me a tickle. has entered stasis to ward off the technophage. Immediate sanctification recommended. It's so weird seeing a Dreadnought with, like, you know, his arms by his side, like that. Just, I've never seen a LAS cannon just aimed straight down. <laughs> it's so silly. Anyway. Because in my mind it would fall down, but this would still be pointed upwards. You know? Your command. So it, it makes it look more like a body than a, than a sort of than a vehicle, I suppose. Also, speaking of things that exist, I think that's the front of a, a Torox uh, transport carrier, possibly. This is like a chunks of like Lehman Russ, but also sort of not. Oh yeah, okay. So this that is a one of the tractors come off from the bottom and has leaned up against it. Yeah. Anyway, some cool stuff. I love the little little details. Yeah, it's all very cool. Anyway, uh, right. Let's kill things. You know what we're here for. Although, so this guy needs killing. He needs killing. I mean, they all need killing, don't they? So though he's got the melter gun, these two have bolters. So I don't really have to care about these two, honestly. It's just these three that need to die, and we are not in a good position to do any of that. Um, and I mean, I can't get him until I disrupt him. And God, 13 health and just... Just absurd amount of armor there. Praise the Emperor. Like, genuinely shocking amount of armor. Yeah, we may have to be pretty, um, pretty coy here, and, and just, we'll have to do some healing, I think. Yes. Although, I do have five disruptor skulls, so it's, uh, five times four, so I can do 20 damage. <laughs> I could just use three on this guy to kill him, if I wanted. Although I think just one on that guy, and then Astrolane is a great way to get rid of him. Um, what is the range of your disruptor skulls? You actually have to move up quite a bit. That's not great for us. Hello, you know, we do have uh, four armor now. I mean, this guy will probably try and take that away from us. These guys will definitely shoot us to bits, so that'll be probably six damage. Just from the two that I'm ignoring, which is a bit annoying. But I don't think we have many other options. Unless, of course... Unless, of course, we wanted a gate of infinity on top of here, save us a lot of movement. Because we're spending at least an AP moving. I mean, we moved him now, so it would be insane to go back on it. But that may have been the plan. Just teleport on top of him, rouse him from his son, but he stands up and starts blasting. That could have been a really interesting way to start that off. But instead, I guess we're going to go a bit slow. So let's get the Disruptor Skull. This to me feels like, a, you know, this is the toughest fight that we have on our hands at this point. Oh, I don't like the fact that we just have this barrel to stand behind. That doesn't feel safe, you know. Doesn't feel at all safe, especially for old fool. Alright, also, as six health, so we only need to do three. You've been in a position where we can do three damage to him. Which is, I think, like, as little as we can do. Um, we're moving here, I suppose. Onward, brothers. But hopefully we'll get the extra AP from the crit and we'll be able to do something else. So, warp charge so we can get the kill. Oh. We had disrupted him first, so... Not only did that do enough damage to be able to whittle him down with the armor piece. I am here to serve. You know, it also allowed us to do some killing. Um... I don't like how far away we are from being able to teleport. We might be burning through most of our willpower here. Because ideally I want to hit all three of these and land on that guy so we can start wailing on him. Uh, and if we're up here we can start shooting these guys and he'll have the support fire as well. 
So, I mean, I suppose I'm just going to teleport here and then zip through. I mean, it might just be that guy, this guy, and then him. We probably won't be able to hit all three. Maybe if I go further that way, but then that's a bit of a distance. So yeah, all right, we're doing this. It's annoying. I'd rather not have to use all the points. Oh, 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 oh my god, really? Look how close that is. Oh, that's so disappointing. Can I, can I hit him anyway, though, if I... Oh yeah, I can hit him if I wanted to. Oh, well, we'll just have to ignore him. That's fine. And do a warp charge. That would cost us the rest of our willpower. But, these guys kind of need killing. So... Yeah, that's an extra six damage I'm doing for one willpower, which I think is probably... probably fine. And he got another AP back. He's still on full AP. That's amazing. Cogitating. Uh, you sure are? So, how do I utilize her properly? I mean, I could just melee this guy a couple times. I'm not sure what good that's going to do. Um, no, he's only got six. Okay, we can get an extra AP out of these guys. Um, so, Litany of the Electromancer. We'll do Mad Stun. Uh, we do want to move... Oh, crap. Really? Oh, I can climb up there and hit him, I think. Ugh. I mean, she's going to be just in the middle of nowhere anyway. So I guess that's fine. I need to make sure that Han can get in, get the... Um, uh, get the execution, basically. Alright. So we hit him one more time. And that'll stun him. Your end is right, then Han can move in here and get the assassination. This is the first time we've actually been able to execute um, somebody in this campaign. Genuinely could be. Because we just don't have a lot of stunning potential. Very nice. Now everyone has more AP. So Storm, although he's teleported and teleport striked, now has four AP. What is your will? It's ruddy impressive. Also, this guy is back. It's a bit of a pity that we can't hit that guy. The big damage we can hit him, but like, why would I want to? At your command. So yeah, he will help. Um, so we're only doing five damage, but if I cybolt, I can get up to six, which means I can attack once and then cybolt for an additional kill with with him. You know, for the additional attack rather. Oh, unless, of course, we don't have enough AP. We probably don't have enough AP for him to attack a second time, do we? No, we don't. I totally blanked that. The Emperor likes oh my god, because she's an additional, like, bonus last. She doesn't get the extra AP. She doesn't get the extra AP. Oh, that's so sad. He can't cybolt. I am here to serve. Problems. Oh, I could say twice kill zone, these guys. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Now, he can just go, yeah, and you're dead, lol. For the Emperor. Idiot. Wow, well, he really, like, jumped for joy there, didn't he? Hang on, where's that land? Oh, that's a pity. That would have been good. Uh, how much does our melee do? Uh, sorry, our range damage do. So that does six damage. This does six damage, but doesn't cost any, uh... Any AP. So I can attack three times, so I think we've got it. So we just got that one... This one douchebag still alive. At the back, which is fine. We'll have him. Oh my god, he got more... He got more flipping AP again. How many times does he get to do that? I guess he gets APs from crits, but he also gets AP from teleporting, right? Uh, and I think he's getting plus one on his autos, right? So we can get an additional 4 AP outside of getting... Yeah, this is crazy. I love this man. Uh, he's, he's nuts. Although at this point, I think we just want to get into cover with him, don't we? Yeah. Alright, so what's this guy going to do with his bolt gun? Huh, <laughs> silly. Oh no, he's shooting us with his bolt gun. Ow. I'm going to overwatch now? Yeah. That's fine. 
That's right, I'm doing it with the storm. That's right, we're just gonna run. And then probably reload. So this will disable his Overwatch. And, uh. Oh, we still have two ammo, actually. Impressive. Alright, you can shoot him. Nice. There's something so satisfying about just point blank shooting a guy in the face. It's very silly. Alright, well, I want you to get the kill here as well. You only have one AB, though. I mean, I do really want this kill. Because I want to get the willpower. So, I guess I could use a Disruptor Skull to whittle him down a bit. Because I really want the willpower to go to Storm. He needs to get as much willpower as possible. He gets a lot of, uh, of big, expensive moves that are too useful not to be able to do multiple times a mission. Alright, there we go. So, Master of Machines. Go. Oh, can you not? Oh, okay, we don't do the move, we just walk up to him. That's fine. And then probably fight off the waves of reinforcements, I don't know. We'll see. Or finish his mission or something. Hey buddy. You well? Honored brother. Our enemy has grown strong and we must stand together. We beseech you for aid in our campaign. You return. I will aid you in your hunt. Update. Warp interference prevents extraction of the combat walker. Uh, I retract okay. the source to a location near our position. Okay, easy. Yeah, no problems. We'll just go up there and start murdering. Uh, so. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Murdering Commander. Sense something near. Okay. Unleash me. At once. Unleash me at once. I'm Don't delay. Sir. Don't delay the unleashing. At once. Okay, off you go. And uh, Lunette sadly can't move right now. Uh, I don't want to smash all of our cover up. And also, do I want Lunette to lag behind? I don't really want more warp surges showing up before I can start taking pot shots. Um, got Ancients Charge, Heavy Flamers, the Twin Laz Cannon, Doom Fist. Did we have the Twin Laz Cannon last time? Didn't even Plasma Gun. This is kind of nice that you get slightly different loadout each time you play. That's fun. That's precision targeting, the, uh, the Twin Laz Cannon. That's really cool. I like that. Seven damage, precision targeting. It's dope. Smash, smash, smash. Alright. I think that'll do. I want Lunette to catch up. Okay, what's the warp surge gonna do? Range weapons suffer. Oh my gosh, the range, rest of combat minus one ammo to ranged weapons. That sucks. That's really annoying. Yeah, I hate that. Must I? Must I? Yes, you must. Okay, where did they go? Oh, hello. Knights! This is going to be hilarious. Okay, everyone everyone, stack up so I can kill you all at once. I think Thul, as in not Krask, but our Thul, can probably hit all of those guys with a psychic onslaught. His range is ridiculous. Enemies enough, of the machine. Yeah, you spotted him, alright. Uh, oh no! I need to crit this j this jerk. Alright, we need to crit a jerk. And when we need to crit a jerk, what do we do? Standing ready. We send in the storm. Okay, boom. Hello, team. Nice. I hate that we have to use our last willpower, though, to uh, to get the seed. But we need, we need the yellow seeds. It's just something we need. <laughs> Loads of, of AP we're getting from this guy. Uh, so I could have run in with... My blade is yours. With our big boy over here. And, you know, use the heavy flamer, maybe. The fact that I can't reach them with this is upsetting. Okay, that'll give me two AP left. Then maybe I could charge? I mean, I certainly want to get up 
a bit closer to them, right? Okay, good. Han. My blade is ever ready. My blade is Han. No, no, that's not. Never mind, mate. Never mind. Uh, okay, we're gonna go over here because I want to shoot this guy. Seeking the tainted. All right, psycho slot. Yeah, basically hits all of them. These two do escape though. These two do escape up top. That guy I can kill with melee with him. Uh, and then I guess I can get on top of those anyway. There's still a couple over there. This guy needs getting killed as well. I think Storm can kill both of those. So there goes a pile of enemies. Ancient's charge I can use over here maybe. Uh, oh, hang on. Could I have shot this thing down? That crane down? Maybe. It's been last cannon. Okay, this is a bit weird, actually. I'm pretty sure on tabletop the twin Laz cannon has like three times the range. Actually, what is it? Is it 48 inches? 48 inch range? Instead of the usual 24, is it 72? Like, it's pretty long range, the twin Laz cannon. It's usually the first thing that's firing, you know, on turn one. Um, so that's kind of weird that it has such pathetic range here. I mean, range 10? It should be way higher range than Storm Bolter. I assume it's a gameplay uh, thing. Alright, that would allow me to get over here. Which is, I know, it's a bit silly. And I can't reach the Doom first. Ugh. I mean, a heavy flamer will get, I suppose. Or I could twin Laz Cannon one of these guys. What is your will? Not sure. Not sure. It's got another AP. <laughs> so silly. There's just no stopping him. Oh, okay. So I can't get anywhere without spending a couple of AP now. Uh, but this guy is probably the one to go for. And we got a crit. So let's take his ranged weapon away from him. Bad. Naughty. Uh, and then maybe Heavy Flamer on them. We still have a bunch of other characters who could potentially come in and do things, of course. But, you know, do we need to? Probably not. Uh, how are you for armor? Yeah, Lunette has no armor, which is surprising. Since how she's, like, mostly metal. Um, so, yeah, only two health there. So, let's get you up here. Also, how are you doing for willpower now, then? Uh, three. Back up to three. Really nice. Alright, finish him off. That's such a fun weapon. Sterilization complete. Uh, you've already shot a bunch of people, so it's just Han left. Uh, however, if we get the Flamer in there, I could use a couple Disruptors to get the kills. But that feels like a waste. That feels like a waste. Uh, will that kill him? I wonder if that guy will die from the burn or not. But let's find out. Oh, that exploded. Cool. Oh no, that collapsed and did so much damage to Trask there. Oh, that's so obnoxious. Oh, it's fine. He's got 16 health left, loads of armor. We'll live. Um, still, what a pain, huh? What a pain. Oh, I can do a couple damage to him. Oh, he's only got a couple health. Oh, okay. Screw it. Let's move up here. And I am going to use one of the Disruptor Servo Skulls to finish him off. I know they're going to burn to death, but I don't want them shooting me, so... Nya! He seemed to say. Alright. Good. Alright, we've got a willpower out of it. And we've got the Aegis over there. Perfect. He's dead, so they have one cultist left. Very sad we had no way of shooting at him, because if we could, we could have got the support fire. And we took one damage. The whole pod took one damage. Brilliant. 
Okay. Uh, you should probably heal. Restoring operational capabilities. The damage that he inflicted upon himself. Well, there we go. Good stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's um, teach this guy what happens. Let's put the dread back into dreadnought. We get astrolabe. That's so fun. I love that. There's three willpower to astrolabe there. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, and the heavy flamer uses willpower as well. He's a couple. Praise the emperor. On the way. Be quick, commander. Must I? Okay, so this is where we need to get to. She's probably going to uncover another pod, you know. <laughs> oh, hello. Drawn by my cleaner? What's the way didn't zoom in? Why didn't you zoom into him? Clear all firing vectors. By the Emperor. Our objective is protected by a hell brute. That's okay. Finally, a worthy foe. Come, traitor. 